surprised my splitter never scrapes on all of this. If the car was lowered, then 100% it'd scrape. But yeah, let's see what the rooftop's in. And there we go. Civic Type R EP3 and the whole rooftop to ourselves. Yeah, that is a clean car. This one is modified as well. The full mod list will be in the description, but yeah, let's just check out the car. All right, so here we have it, the Civic Type R EP3. I'll give you guys a quick walk around of it and just show you guys some of the little mods done to it. It is a modified car. Again, with the video, we're gonna put the mod list in the description. Uh, we don't wanna make the video too full on listing all the mods because it'll just get a bit lengthy and it'll just kind of drag on. So we'll show you the highlights. Of course, you can see it's got aftermarket wheels, rotor grids, all genuine stuff. It's got Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Uh, this car has got a DC5 limited slip diff as well. Um, it is an NA car, so of course these things come with a K20 engine. Um, we haven't done many Hondas on the channel, but we are going to do a lot more from now on because I mean, just look at it, it just looks like a proper go-kart. Um, in my opinion, I think this is how I would do an EP3 as well. Those exact wheels and black because of course you've got the red detailing. It's got this big wing at the back as well. Nice little flick on there. Wing gang, of course, my one and this one. But yeah, it does look quite smart. This has got an aftermarket exhaust as well. Gonna make a lot of noise in a bit, of course, when hitting VTEC. But yeah, generally the plan today is we're gonna have a bit of fun with this, like I said. Um, we don't wanna make it too formal and rigid, just wanna see what the VTEC's like. Um, loads of 8,000 RPM vibes today. But yeah, let's have a look at the interior. The owner does do his own detailing and all the mods himself. As you can see, the red bucket seats. Now like the gear lever is right up here, so when you're fully sending it, you can feel right involved with the drive right here. Of course, I'm not doing one of these yet, so I'm looking forward to it. And a Type R logo there as well. I'll just get the mod list up now as well. Give you guys a few little uh, different names and stuff. You can always check the description. I'll have all of this listed. It's got a DCAT manifold as well, Jap Speed one. It's got an OEM Honda clutch with the light and flywheel. Highly bushed engine and gearbox mount. Car is also lowered as well. A 30 millimeter drop, apex springs. Does sit very nice as you can see. But yeah, genuinely a big fan of the way this thing looks. But yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the camera down. I'll uh, get a few sort of revs of this, and yeah, we'll head on the road. Yeah, you can definitely tell that thing's loud. I mean, just imagine when it hits up to eight years old when we're driving. people's so here we are on the ep3 uh, just getting used to it it feels like a little go-kart as soon as you jump in like the gear lever is right up here like you're sitting quite high like the windscreen's really like it's quite big as well it reaches quite far back you're kind of sitting on the dash almost we haven't hit no VTEC just yet so just getting used to the car um, first one on the channel well proper VTEC one anyway we did do the uh, newer type R, but to be honest that isn't really like this or any of the old school Hondas is like this new turbo VTEC thing but we'll give it a bit here okay I can see now the crossover is quite aggressive man I've never been in a VTEC doing that so it's all new to me driving around some of my familiar roads so hopefully get a good feel for the car it's very loud in here so hopefully you can hear me okay some of you guys are gonna be judging my VTEC shifts still new to all of this yeah so we're gonna get used to it hopefully If you want to say Asbo car, this is an Asbo car. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
seen them move this car, man. And I saw, I know, I saw it get the appeal now. Like, just flicking between it, like downshifting. Yeah, getting the hang of it now as well. Yeah, it's a totally different vibe to sort of a German car. You gotta work for the power a bit, but once it's speed tech and you need the power, man. this like dump of boost or rush like that of course some people turbo and we can't get that as well but this is like a go car man This is totally different, um, totally different. I've always appreciated like J Japanese cars, but in terms of doing videos, I haven't really done many, so that is the plan from now on. Uh, we'll do hopefully do a lot more VTEC stuff on the channel. Um, hopefully do a couple of more Subarus and maybe an Evo or two. We'll see how it goes anyway. Um, fully enjoyed the drive on this. Um, it's been uh, overdue as well for myself, just having to drive one, like I've never been in one either. I know it's a bit strange as well, uh, considering Birmingham, there's so many, but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Uh, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did. Um, and subscribe for a lot more content to come. Yeah, just let me know if you've got a car you want to feature on the channel as well. I'm up for anything now. It's not just golfs. But yeah, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.